What's going on guys, Bao here back with some Shinazuki, so let's get into this, hey, we're going to be checking out this game, and uh, yeah, we're going to log in and we'll see you guys in a second. Alright, looks like we're going to be starting off on server 15, um, looks like we have to update even though we just downloaded the game, I don't know why they don't always just download the update with the game. It's happened to me so many times when I download these games. I don't understand it. Just throw the update with it. It's not gonna hurt anything. Gotta download it anyway to play. So I guess we'll be back when this is finished once again. All right, update is finished. Looks like it wants us to choose a name. So. We'll go with that instead of Biohazard, which is probably taken, so... There we go. I don't know what type of game this actually is either. Um, I just downloaded a ton of different games, so we're just going to be going through them. And uh, trying to get as many done as I possibly can. So, let's see what happens. この世界は戦火の we can turn off comments just because a bunch of random comments. Press the attack button slide up to release ultimate skill. Oh, that's pretty badass. I wonder, dude, I think we're probably just gonna get the the characters are showing us. Or are we gonna pick? Most likely don't get a pick though. Probably get this as a main and then uh, maybe put together a party or something? I don't know. Right? She has wings. What the hell? Right? She has wings. What the hell? Right? She has wings. やっぱりこの私の美貌に惹かれてきたわ。早く避けなさい。早く避けなさい。
らそれこの成績は今話せない He suddenly knows how to use a sword. Or use that sword in particular, I should say. Is it turn based? It might be turn based actually. I think it is turn based. So far, I'm liking it. I don't mind turn based type games. Where do we get the three stars? We got some crystals. Level two as well. Team upgrade or stam upgraded as well. Replay? What is this? Oh, okay, it just shows you. I'm not gonna read all this, are you serious? You can barely hear them because of the music. The music is so loud. Rias Dusk Moon. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, we're gonna start skipping some of this stuff. So much story. We haven't even got into the game. Like, yeah, we got a couple stuff done, but... Oh my god, we're almost 10 minutes in and haven't got anything done. Besides running away this whole time. And then some random characters coming in, so... Yes, 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 yes. I don't know why it takes forever to load. It's kind of weird. There are five jobs in the game. Warrior, Archer, Sass, Mage. And then Minister. Um... Oh, next to HP, okay, yeah. Okay, what does what? Okay, so all of those go together, this one's just random. So it's red, green, yellow, blue, red. I don't know if I'm gonna remember that. I mean, it is the same as some other games, but... I will forget and just attack randomly. <laughs> Because I'll forget to look at the little thing. Because 
Because if you're not paying attention, you, have, you could miss it. It's not that hard to miss. Oh, that's her skill. That was a pretty badass skill, honestly. Yeah, I don't mind the turn-based style games. I do like it. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get like summon stuff as well. I'm trying to get to the end of this. Oh my god. They talk so much. Some of this stuff isn't even important either. I mean, it is for the story, but for the actual gameplay aspects, it doesn't really do anything. That looks pretty badass. I don't know who did this, but that art looks amazing. I mean, the art for this game looks really nice. The actual graphics. I mean, we are all mobile. If it was an actual full-fledged game, it'd probably look pretty badass. But, I mean, for a mobile game, it's all right. It's only getting better. I remember when mobile games were really bad like really really bad so it's starting to get there and then we got the I guess Christmas stuff going on still it is the new year so that's why I'm just trying to play a ton of new games so I don't know if, I'm pretty sure that had to do with the the Christmas stuff going on is that would make a ton of sense. Yeah, we do have summons for this, which I figured. Um, looks like we're just gonna do a single summon. And we're going to get a rare three star. Goes up to a six. I don't know if you can pull a six. Maybe you pull five and then you can get up to a six. I don't know. But that is going to be our new partner, which is probably either the same for everybody or everyone just gets a random R rated R character. Alright, we're going to go on the adventure, map, explore, 2, 1, I'm pretty sure it's read the other way, 1, 2. Unless this is the second part to that first part we played. I don't know exactly how they do theirs yet. Yeah, look at this art. It looks really, really good. I give the art props for sure. Looks wonderful. Like the cards and stuff like that. Uh, hands down, like the summons and stuff like that are going to be really good. Because look, look, the art looks amazing. The graphics, I mean, for a mobile game, they look pretty good. But they definitely could use some work. I mean, I could probably put them on high, but it's not going to make that much of a difference, honestly. So I just run them on whatever the recommended is, which is normally just standard. Battle start. Oh, we do have auto. Interesting. We have auto speed as well. Alright. Oh, I guess we don't really have to play. But it is a summon type game, so... Definitely gonna be in summons. And she's already down to 34 HP. How? How? Yeah, look at the R down here. It looks really good. Of course, we're gonna get all three. You do have to do certain things for those, so I'd pay attention to that. Just to get the extra crystals, because you need them for summonings. Because summonings are apparently very, very expensive. Oh no, it is too. So I guess that first part was technically the first chapter or whatever they want to go by in this one 
Oh, she's an SR, and then he's an R, really? Alrighty then. Wait, what is a six star then? Is because a five star is gonna be SSR, right? No, SSR would be four. She's an SR. Maybe it's SR plus. SSR is four. Yeah, SSR is four. Then you are, and then something after that, or something. Interesting. I'm kind of curious now to see what the system actually puts them as. And we got this dude, which looks very interesting. Yeah, character designs are really good as well, by the way. I mean, look at that. Both the characters look pretty sick. The previous characters we've met look really good as well. Definitely give the character designs prop. Skills so far, I mean, they look really sick. But they're, I don't know, I feel like they're pretty much just the uh, same thing with just different <laughs> little things added it in to make them look different. Oh my god, dude, that bar, that paragraph was insane. One of her things was like a freaking paragraph. It's crazy. Oh, can we not auto? Oh, I just want to auto. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go back to this. I just wanted to see. Why do they always celebrate victory? They always do the same thing at the end. Oh my god, talking. Oh my god, dude, the story in this. I mean, I guess I should have figured, but still, it's insane how long this is. Probably gonna have to play for a good hour before you get through all the stuff you need to get through. We're, we're still in the tutorial phase because we are only doing what they want us to do and we haven't been able to look around or anything like that and l look at this paragraph oh, oh my god a paragraph of text like i wouldn't mind it's just i'm probably never gonna get to the end of this story so yeah her outfit looks pretty badass too. The color designs too are on point on some of these. Like they threw a little bit of blue in there with the red. The white and gold works really well. Yeah, I am liking the character designs for sure, and the art of these characters too. Really? Probably gonna lose. Well, maybe not, I don't know. What? Another one? 
の槍はすなわち神罰の決心すべての不潔を貫けスピードなお力でお前を倒せ Made that go slower though. Yeah, we haven't actually got into like me letting, like it letting me look around and like top up and stuff like that. I still don't know if we have VIP or anything. Hey, we were doing pretty good. We almost took her all the way down as well. Almost die. Got more stem. And of course, she's gonna talk for a crazy amount. Yeah, I wouldn't mind listening to it all of it, like all of the text and stuff like that, if I didn't have to click after every time they're finished. Like, they should just have this auto as well. I don't know why they don't do it. Some games have done it before, or they started to do it more recently, but most of these just don't. They, I don't know, there's little things that just help a lot with games. English would have helped as well, although I would have still preferred it in. Another language besides English because sometimes the English voice acting is just really bad because it just they don't match up for some reason. I don't know, I, I would prefer subbed over dubbed, so. But if for the story on this, you're just never gonna get to the end of it. That's what I have, that's the only problem I have with games like these. Like, I mean, yeah, if you play it every day and uh, continue to worry about the story then I recommend you going and listening or reading through the entire thing of course and it's probably very good because what I got through was pretty good but if you're not going to continue playing the game you're just never going to find out what happens so yeah it's not something I, I want to sit here and read like the first few hours of stuff and then never get to the end of it after that. That would really suck. Alright, so we got roles, quests, active store, friends, all that stuff. Oh, these are all locked though, so I don't know. Oh, we have uh, apparently quests to complete for the story. Got some diamonds and stuff already. And of course, it's wanting us to move on to the third part. Am I gonna ever be able to do anything? We're almost 30 minutes in. Hers looks pretty badass. Yeah, we're almost 30 minutes in. Like these types of games, they should worry about the story. Like, yeah, the first couple minutes. Okay, hit us with the story. Tell us. Tell us what, what's going on and stuff like that. And then after that, hit us with the tutorial phase. Get that out of the way as quick as possible. And then you can go back into the story after that if you want to. But they, they don't. They, they do the tutorial with the story and then it just makes it even longer. And then it's like 30 to 40 minutes. I've seen some that go for an hour and it's just... I don't, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So I want to get to the other stuff besides having to worry about... Doing some tutorial that's not really a tutorial because most of the stuff is pretty easy to figure out. Like, we're not even really doing all that much. Especially with the auto button, you don't really have to do anything. You just make your characters pretty overpowered and you're pretty much good to go. Maybe late game you'll, you'll have a problem or something like that. But 
Yeah, see where it does this stuff? Huh. I mean, I could understand this stuff for... Certain things when you unlock them, let's say like a forge or something like that when you unlock it. Okay, then have a little like tutorial phase that pops up, but... We're getting so much story here instead of actually getting into... The base, basically, once you get into the little base part that we've seen already. And it shows us everything, then... Yeah, we should have uh, went straight to that and then uh, or done the tutorial phase pretty quick because most of the stuff you can get down pretty quick. But I feel like we've spent more time on the story than actually getting anything else done, which is unfortunate. I don't know, a little bit of story in the beginning would have been fine. Then the tutorial phase. Then let us mess around with whatever. And then, of course, we'll get more of the story as we continue on playing and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. But and they pretty much just push it down your throat, I guess. Like, I'm going to play the game, but... I don't really care too much for your story. Like something about her dad, her brother, or something. I don't know. Don't really care too much. Um, can we get into the the part where? Yeah. See, they could worry about all this stuff after we get into getting everything else done. Like the tutorial should be done first. And the story should be handled inside the story. Yeah, we're, we're doing the story, but... Like, it's, it's making us. It keeps making us do the story. Alright, we're gonna look around a little bit. Because I don't know how long that's gonna keep going. Hopefully it doesn't pull us towards anything. Because some of these games... They'll make you keep doing everything. Alright, so we got a one-time purchase, which only lasts five hours. Uh, for a dollar, 60 diamonds. So I guess apparently diamonds are pretty expensive, considering if 60 of them is a dollar, I guess? Unless the summoning scroll is probably what's making it. I don't know. Uh, teaching quests. Looks like we got all of these. Well, not all of them done, but... We did get progress in some of them, which is 3 out of 23. Yikes. That's a lot to get through. Uh, we still have the Halloween theme going on, of course. Special pack offer, so that would be that. First recharge. We're going to get a SR, which is going to be a 3 star. We're going to also get that, which I don't know what we're going to use it for. And then 188 diamonds. There isn't any bound diamonds or anything like that, so you can get straight up like 188. Um, benefits? Achieve all goals, and I guess you get a SSR? That's pretty insane. Um, they're probably really hard to get all done, though, but it's a 7-day event. Time left? 29 days? I guess is... I, I don't even know, honestly. Uh, we do have events going on, sign-in events. Log in tomorrow and get one of the following roles you want? Hmm. Look at the art on that. Like, the art on these characters is amazing. Like, just the little details. I still think this one's probably the best. The color scheme, yeah, that, if I had to pick, I'd probably pick that one, even though I, I don't know what uh, skills and stuff like that is actually better. Diamond exchange, it looks like is one that will make you keep doing everything. Alright, so we got a one-time purchase, which only lasts five hours. Considering it's supposed to end today, I can buy a bunch of stuff. 
get for continuous login. So we have to log in for 20 days straight. And looks like you can get some soul stone, which I'm not even sure what that's for. I mean, it's for a character, but I don't know exactly what it does, or I don't know if you need a certain amount to get a character. Um, rule advancements. We have a summon event going on till the 7th. Total recharge. Consumption. Single. Consumption. Consume 100 diamonds. Get that. Consume all 80,000. Oh my god. It's insane. Single recharge will get you this as well. And they give you a ton of stuff for just like a single recharge of a dollar. Probably worth it if you're going to continue playing the game as well. Honestly, in my opinion. Because this is going to help you overall. I don't know if there's VIP either, so. Oh, you actually get gifts for getting levels. Interesting. See so what the highest gift level is? 50? Pretty sure there's more levels than that, but we got the adventure. I don't know, we got a random Oh we can move on this. We got warehouse summon mail. Is there anything over here? No. You can run over there though. Interesting. I don't know why you would want to run over there. They'll make you keep doing everything. Alright, so we got a one-time purchase, which only lasts five hours. Let me check the summons again. How much was it? Oh, they got a different one going on. Summon probability up for, I guess, these two characters. It's like some event going on. What is this? So it looks like you're trying to summon SSRs. I guess this is the highest thing you can summon. Phase 1, 2, and 3. So... You need 10 scrolls. Where are the scrolls at? I mean, we have these, but those are crystals. The first one requires 10, though. Crystal store. Oh, you can actually buy them. Summon scrolls. 50 for one. We got rubies. Uh, we got soul stone. Uh, multiple different characters. Store. Oh, here's a store. So a dollar is going to get you 60 and so on and so forth. You do have the monthly cards. Novice card. 30 day card. Permanent card. So permanent is going to be daily 60 energy. 10 of these unlocks, I guess, those. I don't know what that actually does. Um, 30, why don't you get diamonds for the permanent card? I guess I don't want you to have diamonds every day. Uh, the 30 day card gives you diamonds, I guess, every day, which is a good thing, although you would probably, most likely you have to get on to claim it, so if you don't, then yeah, you're pretty much not going to be able to do it. Um, we do have packs, which you can buy stuff for. Summon packs, EXP packs, multiple different packs. Um, tells you what's in them, but uh, they are pretty expensive. Let's check this one. That one's actually alright. Like, and I'm guessing if you buy one of the packs, it considers it topping up as well. I'm not going to try to find out, but be my guess if you guys want to. Time scroll, the scroll to speed up. Okay, I'm going to buy that. Just because I don't have it. Actually, I'm going to buy all these just because I, I don't know what they are yet. Oh, thank God I didn't buy those. I didn't want the, <laughs> these, but um, 
Let's go back on that. Is there any more quests or summons? So we do have multiple different summons going on, I guess depending upon what you want to go for. Someone probably up for SSR. Um, a thousand eight hundred and eighty for the summons. That's crazy. And then I guess this is just the overall variety one each. Okay, so each summons, diamond summons, can get you five crystals for this one. Damn, that's still pretty expensive. Although those crystals are probably worth it. Um, I don't know. Like, we have these other summons going on. Well, this one we're not going to be able to do because we don't have those, but... We could try to do this one. But honestly, I don't know. We might have missed the, the Christmas characters already, which is unfortunate, but I'm going to continue on with the quest. I'm going to end it here. I made it way longer than it had to be. And um, we'll try to get some more summons and stuff like that off. It's just going to take a while considering we only have 188. Uh, you can buy them, but a single summons costs more than 20 bucks because it's 1800. So you would have to buy both of these to actually get a summons, which is 30, which I'm not going to do. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the game. I am going to be playing a ton of different games. Uh, I will be doing summons on these. Um, currently, we have this one, which I don't know if I'm going to... I might do these just because these are like the... What the new summons is, whereas this one just encompasses all the characters, I guess. But, uh, oops. But I'm not sure yet. SSR is 4% chance. 2% chance for her, though. What is, what's over here? What is this? Four, it's still 4% chance. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to go for or how I'm going to get these crystals or diamonds, whatever you want to call them. What are they calling them? Call them diamonds. Um, yeah, that's going to be about it. Thank you guys for watching. If you didn't make it this far, if you guys could like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Any of all those things help me out a lot. If you guys want to see any games, let me know. I'm going to be trying a ton out for the new year. We'll try to get up videos every day. I highly doubt I'll make it every day, but we'll see. 